look at this. He got a bad haircut. <laughs> Hey my kitty cats, good morning. So today I'm going to share my self-care rituals with you. I'm going to share my paintings with you that I've been painting this summer. Also, I have to finish this painting. So we will do that. Relax, it's like a relaxing vlog. Also, I got some new planters, some cute, beautiful planters. So I will be showing you that. So we will be doing some gardening. I have taken my shower. I have done my 20 minutes workout every day. I do that 10 minutes meditation every day without fail these are my self-care rituals that i like to do every day for my mind and body so let's do my skincare routine which i do after my shower first i'm going to use a toner on my skin now i'm using the plum rice water and 10 percent niacinamide serum and niacinamide is a superstar ingredient it regulates the sebum production so it is amazing for the summertime it also minimizes the size of your pores so let me show you the consistency of this serum it is so amazing you can see it has rice water. Rice water is amazing for brightening. It also works on fading your acne marks and blemishes. It is also fragrance free and essential oil free. So it is amazing for sensitive skin type. Came in this beautiful package with lots of information about the ingredients, serum. I've been using it for almost like more than a month now. And I have seen a huge difference in my pores and my skin feels more clear you can see like how my skin was breaking out but now it's getting clearer so I am happy about it also use my code to get the discount on your plum order and yeah that's it rice pomat extract in the serum is sourced from japan and it is supposed to work on fine lines and wrinkles it also has a licorice root extract which is a brightening agent and vitamin e squalene which is derived from olive oil it does not clog your pores but moisturize your skin deeply also niacinamide has a very soothing effect on the skin on acne prone skin and now i'm just going to apply a moisturizer my sunscreen and that's it for my skincare routine and in all honesty i feel that this is my favorite serum from plum all right so i'm just adding the final few touches to my painting and then i will show you all of my paintings that i've done in the summer so this is my second painting actually this is the sky and this is the water she is underwater baby look there are fishes and boats clouds i had to redo these clouds a lot of times and of course, I had to add a cat. Kitty cat! And this one is my second painting. I named it Under the Orange Tree. I actually picked a brush after 10 years and uh, like almost a decade. And this was my first painting. One of my favorite artists, Oamul, he drew this illustration and I just painted it. This is something I wanted to show you. This is not my painting, but I got from April Moon. This is an Instagram page and she makes these amazing illustrations. And then she prints it out on a cloth material and then she does these embroidery work, which is so pretty. Like you can touch these. So yes kitties, these are my paintings. I will do more and I'll show you. I want to paint a night sky and then I wanted to paint something for autumn. I hope you liked it. Don't judge me. I really uh, painted after a decade. So yeah, it's summertime so everything grows and it's the perfect time to add some plants, new plants in your house. This cute elephant planter, I got this from Chumba. This is so cute. I'm gonna put this planter in my kitchen so whenever we need main leaves for chutney, we have it. And I also have this cute bird planter, love bird. Planted the spider plant in this one. Look at this, he got a bad haircut. <laughs> I'm taking out the baby pothos. Voila, look at this, so cute. Planter comes with this handle kind of thing so you can hang it in your windows anywhere you want. Look at this, so pretty. I also planted a peace lily. I hope it survives. Peace lily is an air purifying plant, so I'm gonna keep it inside my house. Let's go put all of these planters inside. Okay, kitties, I am hungry. Let's go and cook something delicious but also nutritious. So, I'm gonna cook some pancakes. 
Let's make some almond pancakes, kitties. All right, kitties. So we will need some banana, apple, and almond flour. If you don't have almond flour, no worries. We'll use simple maida. Three spoon maida and three spoon almond flour. Added the banana, one cup milk, and then four spoons of sugar, or however you like. And now I'm gonna mix it in my mixer. And now we will just stir this. Whenever I feel like something is bothering me, I just cook something delicious for myself. Consistency of this mix should be like this, runny. And I think we are done. Now I'm gonna peel this apple for the sauce. Okay, kiddies, so I have pan in the I added a little bit of water and one chamach sugar. And now we will put it in 5 minutes. I have used a little butter use kiya hai. and when it gets red, ho jayega, then we will flip it. Look at this. Hey, kiddies, so pancakes are ready. This is the apple sauce. It was just in 5-10 minutes and then you just crush it with a spoon and now I'm just adding a few pomegranate seeds and drizzle on it some nuts whatever you have like kaju, badam, akrot lastly adding some honey and the breakfast is ready let's go eat this How can you forget some chills? So kiddies, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, probably read some books and call it a day. I want you to show you this corner that I created in my house. This is my reading corner and I have some books here which I'm gonna read. I think I'm gonna start The New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. I've been meaning to read it. Uh, also, this is the Circe. This is a fiction book, but I don't like fiction books much. Um, if you want my recommendation, I would recommend this one, Four Agreements by Dawn Ries and The Mastery of Love, Dawn Ries. These two are my all-time favorite books. Let me show you this book. Like, this is so pretty. It has the description of flowers and its meaning. So if you're into that, you can give this one a try. So yes, kiddies, that's it for me. I'll enjoy my self-care rituals day. Also, kiddies, let me know what are the self-care rituals that you do. These are some of my self-care rituals. I would love to know your self-care rituals in the comments down below. See you.